I knew that she liked to go for that headlock and the clinch, um, and so we had practiced a lot of takedowns from that, going right into side control. We, we basically drilled exactly how the fight went. So. <laughs> how does it feel when something like that happens? I always tell my teammates um, who are just starting out fighting, it, whatever you train for, expect everything to go the opposite way. Like, cause you prepare and you prepare and nothing ever goes your way. And this was one of those rare fights where everything went for just the way we prepared for. No, she fought it. She fought it for quite a while, longer than I thought she was going to. <laughs> Uh, it feels it feels really good. It means a lot to me. Um, in my professional career, I've only had one finish, um, and I just I know I'm better than that. So I really wanted to go out there and prove that I'm not just a striker. I can be on the ground too, and I think I did both. I got my finish, and I showed that I have skills on the ground as well. Do you feel that in kind of the chaos that was this entire card that eventually you got like a little bit blessing in disguise at two weeks' notice? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I feel like I get more worked up in my head. Um, usually like three weeks out from a fight, I'm going, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm not ready for this fight. And you know, I only had three weeks notice, so I didn't have time to kind of freak myself out this time. I don't know. I, ideally, I would maybe take a few months off and continue to train, um, probably get my weight down a little bit. I would like to go back to 135, but you know, this fight, it really wasn't going to happen. I got it on two and a half, three weeks notice. and <laughs> need a little bit more time for that, but I feel like I have some, some not only some things in training that I would like to work out, but I also have the weight issue to work out as well.